Talk about collaboration. Well, it's, it's everything. You cannot have collaboration unless you have a trusting organization and a trusting relationship, yeah. right? So, I mean, let's face it. You, you talked about the complexity of the organization. 54 locations. We have eight product groups. We have six joint ventures. Over uh, 600 customers. Over 600 customers, 7,600 uh, teammates around the world. So no one person is going to be able to manage this business and achieve our ambitions without the entire team, yeah. right? And that takes collaboration. That takes listening to each other. Uh, I like to say it, 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 it forces us to go slower so we can go faster and truly listen to their ideas, how they can improve the business. So, so with that kind of um, hand on the pulse in a way, mm -hmm. all the time, knowing what's happening on all the levels of the organizations and all the places and all the nooks and corners of the organizations, uh, how, how do you stay ahead of the curve? Because part of, part of your success is mm -hmm. not only that you are performing well, but you, your anticipatory skills of what's happening in the industry mm -hmm. helps you be prepared to what's coming and, and outperform the competitions out before others and be ready for the future in the future that comes so quickly now so how do you do that we're in the automotive business we're 99 percent automotive so when we uh, look out over the next five to ten years we see two fundamental changes that are going to impact the business mm -hmm. one is this mobility yeah. uh, which is really going to transform the automotive industry um, electrification uh, autonomous vehicles connected vehicles will drive um, you know, a significant change in the industry. And quite honestly, will cause, um, I think, more collaboration and more partnerships at the OEM uh, level, if you will. So that's gonna be a huge change for all, all of us in the industry. It means different products. It means uh, different performance criteria. It means um, a prioritization on sustainability. Uh, which you know is maybe gets more lip service today than than you know true meaningful um, action. So that's one I think change that is going to really impact our business because of because of the change in automotive. The other is industry 4.0 or digitalization, yeah. which you know I believe is going to absolutely change the way that manufacturing works. Um, you think about Manufacturing generates more data than any single industry, more than retail, more than healthcare, the, the industry that generates the most data. We're not using it yet. Mm -hmm. So if you think about connecting that data and connecting it in real time to our teammates who we're asking and who are expecting to run their piece of the business, that's going to be very, very powerful. It's going to change the way that we work. I personally believe that it's going to take this decision pyramid that we're all comfortable with today and totally it. reverse it, yeah. totally reverse it, where everyone is going to be working to support the production floor, the production teammates. I don't think customers are going to pay for uh, the middle any longer. Yeah. Uh, and I, you know, all of that is going to be enabled through Industry 4.0 and digitalization. Two significant changes that I... Quite frankly, I think it's going to be unprecedented with respect to what we've experienced in the past. Are you getting ready to transform the organization and embrace the industry 4.0? Are you making efforts? We are. And is, is innovation and risk taking playing a role there? How, how do you go about it? We are. We've done a lot of work this year in defining what it means within the context of Woodbridge, mm -hmm. right? And we talked about the uniqueness of Woodbridge. We truly believe that that is a competitive advantage and we don't want to lose that. So when we think about Industry 4.0, we think about it within the context of our production teammates, mm -hmm. our operating, our lean operating model. Quite frankly, if you're not a lean organization, I think the success in implementing 4.0 technology is going to be limited. You have to be standardized and you have to have people that are engaged and enabled. So we are thinking about that. Uh, we're, we've started prioritizing projects around that. Uh, we're not there yet. Um, it is one of the things that I think we're probably a little bit behind on, uh, but we are playing catch up, and and we, we just we really want to make sure that we have a, a a definition that works for us. Definition that gives focus. That's right. Well, that doesn't lose any of again any of the competitive advantage, any of the DNA that makes us good. 
right? So you can't you can't just say okay we're going to move this way without having a a really a cost you know, associated good understanding of what also you want to move that way, yeah. right? Yeah. So when you transform, there are certain elements you want to protect. Absolutely. And certain elements that you're that you're willing to challenge. Absolutely.